Absolutely. Yep. Drew Titan Bronx on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. This is a painful excellence podcast. Salute, ladies and gentlemen, family. Come on in, smash the like button. I got a lot to share. And um, I was trying to find out what to talk about this evening. There's really a lot I could talk about, but I had a situation happen like on a fly. And um, I said, you know something, let me address it. Especially since I kind of like, you ever like put your, not put yourself in a situation, but you um, wanted to find out what was going on. And there was a certain demeanor that was taken with me and it kind of threw me for a loop, but you know, I'm an adult and I know how to handle certain things, you know, um, verbal judo and such, but um, the points was proven and um, I got an assessment and I'm just gonna share the story with you guys tonight and um, bring everything full circle. Um, Title tonight is, how does she really feel? Uh, the pampering lie versus the hard, honest truth. The pampering lie versus the hard, honest truth. First, let's see who we got in the building. Love is the word. Corey Joe, Eric Jordan, Mahari Nation Sports Podcast. Salute. Jose Diaz, what's good, brother? Rod Neal, Shogun, what's going on? Philip D in the building. Salute. The Blog Fathers, Paranormal Investigation. Salute. Sheila, how are you? Big Joe Townsend in the building. Mona D, Mona D, how you feel? Go subscribe to my sis, Mona D. We gotta get over that stack. We see Oe, what up? <clears throat> it jumped on me a little bit. But now I'm the Mexican, what's going on? Melanin, how you feeling? My brother, Scrapbook Boxing in the building. Louis Hinton, what's going on? Oh yeah, brother, scrapbook. Yeah, I um, I gave my opinion on that, good brother, because you know what I do for a living, and I make a great living. Uh, you know what I do. You know what I do. Um, if you um, if you uh, if you um, scrap, if you go into to my channel on on this channel, <laughs> and um, if you put up um, that woman's name uh uh. What is her name? <laughs> Ebony K. Williams. She put up her name. I just did a little short. You know, it didn't take me long. She's a lawyer by trade, and God bless whoever she she was a public defendant. All right. Um, they didn't make much money anyway. A lot of her wealth came from her being on television. Um, how you're not married, but you're on a show called Real Housewives is beyond me. I never watched it, but whatever. I'm uneducated about that. Um, but scrap if you um you go to the channel and just put in Ebony K. Williams, um, she'll come up. I just did a little short. It didn't take me much. I caught out there. You know how I do. And for her to be a lawyer and legitimately just step on her words like that, you know, um, she literally stepped on a landmine. You know how I do. And um, it didn't take me long because, you know, I murdered her with her own words. So she's fine. But salute to Scrapbook Boxing. Y'all make sure I'm loving what you're doing, Scrapbook, with um the history of boxing, man. I just be sitting back and just listening to it and, you know, sipping on my drink like, wow, this is some that's some great stuff. Everybody go subscribe to my older brother, Scrapbook Boxing. Salute. And salute to Joker, Nutty Nate, in that super chat. Much love and appreciation. He says, it's about damn time, man. Salute to you, good brother. Turning the chat orange, man. Salute to you, man. Dave the Real Thomas, what's going on? How you feel? Uh, Corey Joe in that super chat. Much love and appreciate. She said something for the plate, man. Salute to you, man. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys, man. Much love and appreciation. Thank you. Smoke talk in the building. Salute. Yeah. Yeah, I might, you know, I might, I might uh, revisit that. I might revisit that, you know, with uh, Ebony K. There you go. There go my man, one round with George. Go subscribe to my brother, George. Yes, sir. That's the man right there. Tri-State, Jersey, stand up. That's right. So let's, let's, let's get to, um, let's get to uh, what I'm talking about 
tonight. Um, just grab your popcorn. Um, okay. The blind date, not not so blind, not so blind. It was a it was a date. Um, okay, y'all. Everyone has been in this situation, whether you was playing Cupid or someone was playing Cupid for you. Um, buddy of mine, um, that's my road dog since like high school, right? That's my that's my guy, right? And um, he's actually listening right now. So you know, um, you know, he's divorced. He has no children, right? And um, more on that later. More on that later. Smoke Talk. Go subscribe to my brother Smoke Talk. Now, now listen. I need you guys to listen carefully. All right. Um, I went out uh, to a, a, a friend's birthday party and um, had a good time, whatever, you know, blah, 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 blah. And um, she had someone that worked with her also, right? And, um, you know, I get hit with the questions, you know, um, do you have a friend like you? You ain't got to read in between the lines. You know what that means. Because the first thing is I come up in there. It's who's that? Oh, that's, that's read, you know. He's married, stay in your lane. Oh. Friendly, I'm on ADS Will Soft. What up? I'm off limits. I'm off limits. So um, you know, you're sitting at the it was like a dinner and then a the little dancing and stuff. So um end of the night, you know, I'm about to go to my car. I'm shaking everyone's hand. Hey, pleasure to meet you. Some people I knew already, it was like co-workers, right? So then um the young lady, hey, you know, you got any friends like you? Meaning, y'all know what it means. So I'm like, guess. So, okay, well, um, take down my number, you know, pass it, pass it on. Okay. Now I'm I'm well connected. Um, I know I know a lot of people. There's a lot of guys that I grew up with that are like me, you know, family men, or even if they're single, you know, you done laid and played already. That that's you just don't do certain things like that anymore. You know what I mean? Um. And then I got other guys that are my age and they're cool in the gang, but some of them haven't just grown up yet. They're still out here. Most are responsible, some are not. And when you're passing a number around, um, you are people who you associate with, people that you would introduce new people to, they, uh, Thank you, Melanie, and I appreciate you. Um, they, Smoke Talk, I appreciate I appreciate all you guys, man. I love all you guys, so. Um, people who you are around represent you, whether you realize it or not. You ever had that one person? It's like, all right, we going to a club or something, and it's like nine of y'all, but that one person, don't tell him we going, because this was the only, this was the guy that always getting into something in the club, a fight, what he looking at, why he stepped on my Jordans and yeah, God damn, one of those dudes. So it's like, yeah, we splurging this week. Don't say anything. Um, so people represent you. So I'm at that age, we knocking on 50. So I'm like, look, so I told my, my boy, I said, look, you know, um, I, I hear you, Jose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I 
Oh, no doubt, Jose, man. Go pick up your baby girl. You good. So check it out. I hit my boy up and I say, look, you know, here's a number. And he's a busy dude. It's two jobs, okay? He's been working for UPS since 1994. Since 1994, that was the go-to job. He's always had that job because he was able to do that. And then later on, he got a job at the post office. And he's been there for 16 years or so. Right? And, um, hold on. Yeah. So, responsible dude all right he got married all right and let me tell you something about his ex-wife all right jeff sparks salute let me tell you something about his ex-wife and this is no exaggeration his ex-wife she's canadian right i'm not bullshitting you when i tell you she looked better than beyonce he's my right hand of god i'm not bullshitting you no she was like a fitness like on stage literally like competing she was red bone. She was Irish and Jamaican. She had hair down to her shoulders. It was all her hair. You couldn't, no, absolutely not. When she walks into a room, it's like that. It's like that. I'm serious. She had it. You know what else she had? That ungrateful gene, that sneaky gene, that pop, 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 pop gene, and not getting into all of that. He divorced, he divorced her. Like I ain't doing this shit. That's just a little uh, side note, y'all. Listen, men, choose your sanity over a pretty face, one hundred percent of the time. Cause I'm on the outside looking in. I don't deal with that. I, I that was his marriage or whatever. But when it was over, you know what I mean? It was like, yeah, I can't do this. You know, he's flying from America to can This motherfucker was up in the air more times. Than, I'm surprised he didn't make the 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 T warist list. Cause this is after 9/11. He's up in the air, meeting her in California. Meeting her. In, I mean, he was. He really took it serious. But whatever, he divorced her. No children, all right? The man got almost an 800 credit score. He lives alone. Let, you hear me saying no children, right? Okay, happily divorced, no children. He's about to retire from UPS, works for the post office, single male, he's in shape. She asked me, do you have any friends like you? And I say, yes, I do. I introduced her to him. Now, let me stop right there for, can I ask the ladies in the chat? So far, did I do right by this young lady? Just put a yes or no. Matter of fact, anybody, ladies and gentlemen, did I do right by that? By that? Introducing him to her. I just said he has A1 credit. He's about to retire from a job. He still works for the post office has his own place no children he ain't got no baby mama drama no so, so did right by her right he's in shape all of that shit right so i did right but look at blog father he said you blessed her yes i did yes i did i said here you go they talk they have a good time ryan right salute right almighty law salute and um they night train salute they end up connecting and uh he goes to pick her up right no wait i'm missing a part i'm missing a very important part um i didn't share her number right away i didn't share her number right away dartania eight salute and because i forgot i'm busy rachel no need to salute 
Yeah, I, I know. I did right. But listen to the story, right? She texts me like two weeks go by. And she sends me this sarcastic text. I guess she don't have no friends. LOL. And I looked. I said, oh, shit. I forgot. And I told her. I said, oh, man, you know, I forgot. You know, I said, but listen, don't worry about it. I got you. I pushed the number along. And they had actually seen each other before because there was another function like a year and a half prior. And I said, look, I got a, 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 it's a party or whatever. Come through. Grown folk talk salute. And he came through. So they kind of like, they knew how each other looked or whatever, but they never like met, met. So now they're meeting and um, he goes to pick up. Right now, mind you, when I'm texting her, um, I went through the, what if he don't like me? This is a 40 plus year old woman. Juice, what up? What do you mean? What if he don't, listen, when you, you asked me to do John pounds, what up? You asked me to, to do something for you. And I did it. Um, that led me to believe that you really are, are cool with what I bring you. And in the text, she hit me with the, normally the type of guys that I go for, don't go for me. Now look. I'm not a therapist, but I am a great judge of character. And my mother actually has a degree in psychology. Cop killer, what up? And my mother spent the majority of her life talking me to death, which is why I'm so good at reading people and talking. Right? Yeah, I should have got a matchmaker feed and, and listen to this story because it gets progressively odd but typical now watch this <sighs> he goes to pick up she lives on the other side of the bronx of course let me not say of course but i said yo bro where she live and when he said blah 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 saint anne's and immediately south bronx she live in the fuck <laughs> she live in the projects right so i'm like oh, okay Okay, here we go. She's living the projects. All right. She comes downstairs, whatever. They still laughing and joking, whatever. He drives her all the way to uh, uh, Ridge Hill up here. Very nice. There's a spot up there called Yard House. Let me tell you something. The nachos, I will fight you over those nachos, man. I'm telling you. So they eat, they eating whatever. And my boy was like, yo, listen. You know, I can tell, you know, she got some, I would say, I call them character flaws. But you're like, when you're talking with your boys over the phone, basically it's like, yo, yeah, there's some shit with her. I knew, yeah, of course, I know, I know what he meant. So I'm like, okay, it's okay. You know, um, so there's no other way to candy coat this um they had a great time and they ended up back to his place and he knocked it down right first date but listen y'all they're grown they're grown all right she didn't want to go home right um you know she was fishing brothers y'all know what that is so what we going home or what, what, what we gonna do what we gonna do Okay. In the back of his crib and knocked it down. I'm going to skip past because I, I know the details, but that's not what this show is about. So here's what happens. Okay. There was no, he, listen, during their conversation, um, 
there was some things that he that he uh, uh, spoke to her about. One of the things he spoke to, listen, when I get around people, what do you think they always they always bring up to me? Health and wellness because of how I look. Same thing with my boy. Same thing. The same thing. She asked me, do I have any friends like you? And I said, as a matter of fact, I do. Health and wellness. So he's telling her about kettlebells and diet and all this, that, and the third. And he wants to, um, he mentioned something about uh, um, like documenting progress. You know what I'm saying? Well, let me open this up for a second. He mentioned something about documenting progress, right? And um, yeah. So drove her home the next morning, whatever, on the way out. Now, this is a now look, I'm not judging anybody, but I'm drug free. And I don't care if marijuana is legal, it's a drug. She knew someone that lives around our way, asked and then asked him, yo, could you drive me around the such and such block? So um, I could get some weed from my friend. <sighs> Ladies, don't do that shit. Don't do that. That's a turn off, man. That's a turn off. So um, turns out wherever her friend lived, that's actually my brother's building. It was funny. I said, where? Yeah, where? I said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's my brother's building. Whatever. Demon, what up? So um, he was polite. He, she went and got her stuff, and he drove her home. Right. So everything is cool. Right. So now y'all know Mother's Day just passed. Right. My boy's mom's passed a few years ago. So every year, every year around this time, you know, you lay low for a minute. It's a little emotional. Right. Plus, I just told y'all he's retiring from his job, so he's getting paperwork together. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, you know, Wusa, I'm doing things or whatever. Um, she texts him. He texts her back or whatever. You know, they didn't make any official date to uh, connect to uh, hang out or whatever they were going to do again right away. Whatever. About a week and a half ago. So I was actually listening to Stormy's uh, uh, premiere. And I get a text and it's from her. So I open up the text and it says, why didn't you tell me your friend was immature? What? And I text her a question mark. And then I text my boy. David Scott, what up? Am I missing something? Now, let me explain something to you. To the, let me talk to the ladies for a minute. Let me tell you how men work. When I tell you that's my dude, that's like my fucking brother. In what fucking universe do you think you're going to say something to me about him and it's not going to get back to him? What are you talking about? That's the arrogance of some of these dumb bitches out here. And I just needed to vent to get that off my chest because this is not the first time this has happened in our lives. Mark Wonderlick, what up? The Village Brother, what up? Christopher Columbus, what's going on? UK in the building. Yo, Chris, peek. See what I got? I'm everywhere but nowhere. See that? <laughs> yeah. Um... When we was younger, you know, it's cute when you're younger. You and your boys and your teens or your early 20s, you meet your homegirls and 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 you do something with the homegirl and the homegirl say, yo, yo, but don't tell your man. It's like, what you mean? What you mean? I'm not supposed to tell him. What the fuck you talking about? So I'm offended reading this text. You know why I'm offended? 
what did I just tell you about my boy? Now, mind you, we are knocking on 50 now. We're on the we're on the, the senior side of 40 now. And I could have introduced her to a couple of different dudes that had just smutted her out. But I introduced her to a brother that's retiring from one job, <clears throat> still working another one, has A1 credit, lives alone, has no baby mama drama. And he's in shape. And none of us look our age. Believe me, I shave this shit off. I'm getting teenagers. Matter of fact, even when this shit out and grown all the way out here, I'm, I'm pulling teenagers like, bitch, go finish school. Get away from me. I'll ruin you. Get What are you doing? So I'm going to ask y'all again, did I not do right by her? Am I bugging? And this is why I'm offended. Because I get a text. Why didn't you tell me your friend was immature? What the fuck are you? So I'm like, yo, I'm talking to him like, did, did y'all like have a fight or something? What happened? I'm asking him because at that point, I don't want to hear what she has to say. I want to hear what he has to say. So he reiterates the whole date. And the last interaction they had was that text message. He was sleeping. The man has had two. Yo, listen, you heard me say he's been working for UPS since 1990 fucking four. He starts up that job at 6 p.m. and don't finish it like 10, 11 at night. When he started working for the post office, I forget which year it was, like 2000 something. He goes from there from like 6.30 in the morning to like 4 or 5 in the evening. If he don't work overtime, but then he comes home, take a nap, and then goes to UPS. And they don't get home until 10.30 at night. Do you see why I can't stand Ebony K. Williams? My boy just made like 110 grand last year. A1 credit. Has his own vehicle. Don't have no baby mama drama. He's happily divorced. Lives alone. Ebony K. Williams was talking about we failing in the fucking leadership. You know how many dudes are walking around like my boy right now? What are you talking about? Now listen, do you understand why I read that? Immature? I got offended. I said, who the fuck is she talking about talking about my brother like that? Nah, Chris. Nah, nah, nah. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna talk about it, but I I let's just say I'm connected. That's that's for that's for another day. That's for another day. I'll talk about it, just not tonight. I'm reading this shit like, hold on. Now, Shauna, what up? Now, I'm very, um, I like to investigate things. Now, what I just told you about the night is the abbreviated version, but it's the same thing. I'm just leaving out a lot of the conversation because what the, the, the conversation that her and I had, it bridged the gap. Because it was things he said to me that kind of put things in a better perspective. And it made me go back and, and cause I did have a texting conversation with her and she sounded very unsure of herself. And I'll explain why. Um, this woman has issues. This woman has issues. Um, so what I did was I called her and I said, what's up? What's going on? She started talking about, oh, well, we went from talking every day to now he's not answering the phone. I said, okay. Um, what do you mean? Well, you know, I text him and he didn't text me back. Some shit she said. But last he told me, he said, yo, he woke up, looked at the phone, texted her back, went back to sleep. How many jobs I said the man has? Two, right? Right. Um, man has two jobs. Okay. And um, 
The man's tired. And I said, look, I'm going to tell you something. It's not like no hidden. It's not no Trump card for you to be pulling. But let me explain something. Maybe he didn't tell you or whatever. I said, look, Mother's Day was last week. She said, yeah. I said, okay, listen, he lost his mom a few years ago. And no matter how old you get, that really don't go away. So, you know, the brother gets in his feelings around this time. We all do that. My mom's not in the best of health. My aunts are not in the best of health, but they are almost 80, well, 80 years old. So look, it's getting rough every year, y'all. It is. So I said, look, get a man some space, right? And um, try it again. It's okay. I said, I hope you didn't text this to him. She said, no. I said, okay. I said, well, let me ask you a question. Instead of texting me why, I didn't know your boy was immature. And she also said, I'm reaching out to you because you hooked me up with him. I said, why didn't you just ask me, yo, is your man okay? And I could have told you this. How you know he ain't getting into a car wreck and he's in a hospital? Why are, you looking, why are you looking at the cup half empty instead of half full? Y'all went out, you had a good time. And I told her, I said, I know everything. Oh, he told you? Yes, I know everything. We're grown, what am I gonna do? We're not in school. Y'all had a great time. What are you talking about? Then she starts saying, true. You're the second person to tell, no, the third person to tell me that. Third person? The third person? And I still got this text? Derek Gaines, what up? Third person, and I still got this damn text. Wow, that's, that's interesting. So then I started to pick her brain. Um... What I noticed was she's very unsure of herself. She's very insecure and um, she's very defensive. She got a snapdragon mouth and I don't go back and forth with women. But while she asked me a question and I answered her and I said, well, here's why I answered you and here's, here's why this is my answer. And while I'm elaborating on my answer, she starts over talking me. You don't do that. You don't do that, not to me. So I said, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Relax. We're having a conversation. Um, she says, yeah, well, you know, I don't, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like your, your answer. I said, I don't care. You can't learn anything while you're talking. Oh, so I'm supposed to be learning from you? I said, well, let's take it a step back. Um, have you ever had, who, who are your male mentors in your life? And her response was, male mentors? I said, yes. All right, let me, let me elaborate. Um, what's your relationship with your father? Dump, da dump, dump. Her response was, sure. I don't know what you mean. I said, okay, let me give an example. I worship the ground that my father walks on. I aspire to be like him every day. And there is a special place in heaven for that man. Now, what is your relationship with your father? She says, well, he might be burning in hell for all I know. Stop. I just stopped him. I said, stop, 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 stop. What? There it is. She went on to tell me about all of her issues and she didn't take it. But she says, oh, well, the problem is people and 
I, I was hanging out with this girl at the job and then the girl she ghosted me and all of these issues that she said she had all these failed relationships that she said she had but then she told me that she takes it when i said well you know you got to take accountability i said you don't think it's something that you're putting out no so this is all everyone else's fault i said it's something called accountability when i said that word the a word accountability she goddamn blew a gasket i do take accountability and you're, you're generalizing Please don't try and use big words on me. So I said, okay, I'm generalizing. I said, no, I'm not. You're telling me that everyone else has issues. DP Rocker, salute. Everybody has issues but you. So none of this, oh no, I didn't make mistakes. I made mistakes. You know, uh, um, found out she had a 14 year relationship. Now listen to this fellas, 14 year relationship. had past tense you know what she said to me I, well i asked i said how the hell are you in a 14 year relationship where's that dude that how come you didn't put a ring on it oh i you know you know we broke up three times the third time i was done i was like okay so she moved into the projects and he moved in with her i said why are you letting this bum nigga move in with you well, he wasn't a bum. So now you're defending the nigga. The 14 year relationship. You broke up with him three times. The third time, you was gone. But now he's off with a career making about fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year. And here's the funny shit. That guy is not even her baby's father oh shit what i said hold up you got a you got a you got a kid don't you right yeah i said um chill time majors what up i said listen your son's how old 23. okay Now, later in the conversation, she says something to me, and I don't even think she realized she said it. I said, um, well, the 14, let me get back to the 14-year relationship. She said, the 14-year relationship, I said, what are you doing in a 14-year relationship? You're not even married. She says, oh, well, you know, things happen. I said, no, 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 I can't accept that. Things don't just happen. You make a choice. And then she blew another gasket. What do you mean? Things do just happen. I said, no, they don't. Only women say shit like that. And when you hear a man say that, yo, man, why you got four kids from four different women? Yo, man, shit happens. No, you took your penis and slept with that woman and your pullout game was horrible or you just fucking around and now you got a baby. Don't tell me shit just happens. We know how human biology works from the time we're like in fourth or fifth grade, earlier than that. I'm not buying that. I said, no, I'm not going to have... No, 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 no. I said, things don't just happen. You made a choice. That's all I said. Oh, no, well, you know, things just happen. And she's fussing with me. I said, okay, thing, you happened to make a choice. You did that. But it's cool you broke up with him. But here's what she said to me. And she didn't even realize she said it. I said, look, you are when you are in life due to the choices that you make. She says, yeah, but you know, you, you, that's true, but I take accountability and had I known better, if I knew now, if I knew, if, if I knew now, what I, if I knew then what I knew now, you know, I, and if I'd have believed in abortion, I'd be in a lot, in, in a better, in a different place in life. And I said to myself, excuse me, excuse me. She didn't even realize she said, if she believed in abortion, the bitch just told me she'd have aborted her son she just said that i said oh shit she didn't even realize it she didn't even realize it i was like what the fuck if she did she just say anthony what up if i knew then what i know now 
if I believed in abortion, I'd be in a different place. She believes in it now. Whoa, baby daddy, all she told him was, oh man, just be here for the kid. I said, well, damn that. Why are you spitting out a child out of wedlock, man? I didn't want to get into the relationship. Yo, what is the relation between your 23 year old son and his father? I said, what's up with your son though? Does he live with you? She said, nah, he's 23 years old, he a virgin. I didn't ask that. But I said, well, what's up? And then she refused to talk about him. Because my question was, who was his me male mentors? Who were his male lead? What's his male leadership? Please tell me it's a, it's a coach somewhere or someone in the church somewhere. Because if it's you, and here's what I'm saying, because if it's her, because on the, in that conversation, it was men, 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 and y'all men, and y'all men, 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 men. Yo, I, 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 y'all men are liars. I, 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 I can't stand y'all men. Eric Jordan in that super chat, much love and appreciation. He said accountability is a woman's kryptonite. Absolutely. Now check this out. She don't damn near curse men's name, right? So you got a baby daddy. They ain't want to deal with you, but you you kept that baby and you told him just be around for the kid. He was like, uh-uh, bitch. I ain't signed up for this. I don't know where he's at. But now your kid's 23 and you're telling me that if you believe if you knew then what you know now, if you believed in abortion, you wouldn't be where you are now, which means you wish you never had your kid. She said that th that's what she said to me, not in those words, but she said if she believed in abortion, she wouldn't be where she is now. She said that I heard her say it. I'm like, whoa, that's fucked up. But OK, I didn't even. I didn't even ask her. I almost said, did you hear what you did? No, nope, because she knows what she said. Because you know why? She said it before. You know how I know? Because my boy told me. When they was at dinner, she said she wished she never had her son. She didn't say that to me. She told him. But what she said to me is that she wished she believed in abortion 23 years ago. See that? This is a black woman, y'all. Now watch this. Now watch this. She basically said, this is men's fault. Um, and I said, now nah, you're a victim of your own decisions. You keep. She don't remember saying that most men that she's attracted to don't want her. 502 King, what up? They don't want her. Now let me point something out to y'all. Okay, because we got into the, I just started talking to her just to see where it was going to go. You know what this bitch said to me? Oh my God, you sound like the manosphere. Whoa! Take that! Well, I don't claim manosphere. I think that's a, a group you have to be grandfathered into. I claim LDBC, that's me. But all the manosphere is is a bunch of men who we know what we want and based off of life experience, that is support and, and, and the things that we don't like and things that we've noticed that is also all the bad shit and good shit that is supported by facts, data, and statistics. We have another black woman that has a problem with it. And I said, well, what, what, what is your problem? I said, look, she, she started talking about, oh, well, stats show that you men ain't this and you men. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you getting your information from? Point me in the direction. I took out my phone. I was ready. I said, point me in the direction. Where are you getting your stats from? She just kept saying stats. Oh, well, st I said, well, where are you getting your stats from? I want to look them up. I want to cross-reference. Where are you getting yours from? I said, blackdemographics.com. Oh, no, that's not real. 
I said, where do you get yours from? She said, the CDC. I said, the difference between the CDC and BlackDemographics.com, it might be two or three percent, but it's the same thing. 4850, 50, 52. It's not 50% on one page and then on the other page, it's, it's like a whole fucking 10%. No. But she couldn't tell me anything. I said, give me a number, give me a number. She couldn't do it on anything she said. And I'm just giving you the brief version because here's what's important. And she actually was like, she was getting very sarcastic and very, uh, Rob Holman, salute, Clarence McClain, salute, knock down, what up? Smash the like button, y'all. Um, she was getting very sarcastic over the phone, very loud, very niggardly, um, very rude, very, very rude. Oh my God, stats. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, 40 plus year old woman, y'all. This isn't sports. You know, we're not talking shit about sports over, you know. I asked, I, you know what I told her? I said, you know, I asked you, I said, do you even know why I asked you about male leadership in your life, male mentorship that you laughing about? I said, you don't fucks with your father. Your baby father don't fucks with you. You have no mentor, you have no male mentorship. And here I am, you call me with the problem and here I am giving you free game and look at your behavior you see that it was men this and men that niggas this and niggas that can I ask the chat again did I introduce her to a nigga or a man whoa <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of pretty before we get started. Oh, frog money, Gordon, he did ride. Rambo. What? Let me reiterate you. It, let me reiterate this to you. My boy is a black man by way of Barbados. He has A1 credit, happily divorced, no children, has his own crib. No kids, and I have to reiterate that. No kids. Has his own vehicle. Two jobs, about to retire from one. D-Man, what up? No, Shauna. No, Shauna. I'm not hearing that. This is not equal. Don't come in here with that bullshit tonight. Not tonight. Don't do it. I will block your ass. Because what, what happened over this weekend? This is a woman doing this. It's not no goddamn, it's not a shared responsibility. This bitch proved my point. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay? Remember I keep telling you that men, black men, are not allowed to have fucking standards? Teach, what up? Remember when I told you that? Joker, Nutty Nate, and that super chat, much love. He said, shout out to the Manosphere. Salute. Remember when I told you that men are not allowed to have fucking standards? Okay. I told you that when I'm reading the text, okay, I didn't, she had to remind me, oh yeah, you know, you said you, and I'm like, okay. I could have gave her a couple of niggas that have did what they did and they wouldn't even, they'd have sent her ass home in an Uber. My boy took her out and was a complete gentleman to her. And he don't call in a few days. Or he text, last he told me he texted her back. And I'm getting, why is this nigga so immature? And it was a sarcastic text with that. Oh, I'm, I'm talking to you because you introduced me to him. Anyway, how are you? Get the fuck, wow. Sheila, salute to you in that super chat. Much love and appreciation. Now, here's the shit. Now, here's the shit. All this bullshit she talking about men, right? And I'm just listening to this in complete disgust. And I'm like, wow. She told me 
she told me, Queen, there was nothing wrong with my friend. Absolutely nothing. There's nothing wrong. Rewind the show. How I'm telling you is what it is. It's all this bitch. Okay? Now. She asked me to connect her with a man, and I did that. I didn't connect her with a nigga. Right? This fucking woman was in a 14-year relationship. When I asked her, I said, how often in those 14 years did this man take you out? Bitch told me, no, he didn't take me out on dates. What? Fine. Your baby's father. Did he ever court you, take you out on dates? No. What the fuck? Nicholas Levy, salute. Queen, you gotta rewind it, cause I'm, cause I'm about to I'm about, I'm about to drop this shit on y'all right now. So baby daddy never took you out. His pullout game was whack one night. You kept the baby that you said you rather would have aborted. You said that. If you believed in it back then, you'd be better off now. You said that when you went out with my boy, you told him you wish you never had your baby. Whoa, that's some shit you say on the first date. Okay. Then after your baby dad, you get into a 14 year relationship. But never mind that. I asked you, when's the last time you been out on a date? I've never. You're in your 40s. You've never been taken out on a fucking date. You want to know why? You want to know why niggas ain't take us seriously? Take a wild guess. <laughs> Now here my boy is, right? We do not look our age. All right, six pack and all. When they hung out, hold on, he texted me right now. He's watching. Now, mind you, she's wilding out over him not calling her back. But before the night was over, they already had made arrangements to get together and exercise and just to get together and hang out. So he don't answer the goddamn phone for a couple of days. Let's say it's a week. I don't care. And instead of texting him, yo, you good? The last text that she that he texted her, that she texted him, he responded. Instead of texting, are you good? She texts me, why is your man immature? Wait a minute, bitch, you got with a baby daddy that never took you out. You was in a 14 year relationship that, and that nigga ain't take you out. I hook you up with a man, a black man, with a fucking job, two jobs at that, retiring from one, has A1 credit, has his own whip, his own, his own crib. He used to have own property in, in Jersey. Bitch, you got nachos, weed, and penis in one night. And he's immature? What am I missing? And by the way, you got some nerve. <laughs> Eric Jordan in that super chat, much love and appreciation. She said, women don't know how to handle a real man that is good to them. So she messed with the pookie instead of, and treat them like crap. So bitch is for the streets. And I'm gonna tell you something else. I'm gonna tell you something else. Queen, I had no idea she had a problem with men. I didn't talk to her. Rewind the show, baby. You gotta rewind the show. She was not, I didn't know her like that. She was a friend of a friend. And she asked me, do I have any friends like you? You know what that means. I said, you know, as a matter of fact, I do. Let's see where it goes. 
Yeah. Here my boy is, you know what? You know, we older now. I'm not trying to judge anybody. And he said, hey, fuck it, why not? And he knocked it down. And she had a ball. And they made arrangements to connect down the road again. But because he's not quick on the trigger, all of a sudden it's why is your friend immature? Now on that date, she inquired. Because every time I go out and I'm around people, people start asking me about working out and exercise. Same shit with him. Same thing. And he told, not only did he give her pointers, but he said, I will help you. Hello. I will help you. You know why? I'm about to give you her measurements, y'all. Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Y'all know how tall I am? Put in the chat. Y'all follow me on, on the gram. Y'all see, y'all see, y'all follow me. I put the jump rope. How tall am I? Put it in the chat. Go ahead. She's that height. Her and I look eye to eye. It looked like a fucking, like when I, that picture I put up with me and Joseph Parker looked just like that. Okay. It gets better. I am 220. When I don't eat proper in about three days, I could drop down to like 214. This bitch is over 300 pounds. Whoa! Oh, Frog money Horton, he did ride Crambo. Frog money Horton, he did ride Crambo. Frog money Horton, he did ride a sword and a pick and a revolver by his side. Crambo. What? My boy is 5'9". He about 2'10". And he's Diesel. And she wasn't complaining about the sex because she wants more. Which is why she's panicking at the disco. And instead of saying, yo, is he okay? She's texting me, why is he immature? These defense mechanisms is out of fucking control. The bitch is a line man for the Giants. And mind you, my boy didn't judge because she's not ugly. My boy didn't judge her. He went to the South Bronx in the fucking projects, picked her up, drove her all the way to goddamn Ridge Hill, fed her. They had a good time. He had to tell her to watch her mouth a few times. Took her back to the crib. Smashed. He said she screamed. I ain't gonna get into it. But when I told her I know everything, she didn't deny anything. But there was a lot of character flaws there. Oh my God, he said I was too loud. And you know, the neighbors. I said, well, look, you're in someone else's house. If they tell you to keep the noise down, keep the noise down. Because you got to respect the neighbors. What's the problem with that? You understand? Why do I have to have a, that kind of conversation with a 40-year-old woman? A grown adolescent? So, then, she falls asleep. They wake up. He takes her. Yo, can we stop around such and such? Why? I gotta go see my friend. Yo, she got the weed. So, you was fed. 
you was fucked and then he t drove you to get your marijuana and then drove your ass home what are you complaining about what are you complaining Please tell what it, Queen, you cannot justify anything. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. No. No. No, 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 no. No. I'm going on my Instagram right now, y'all. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. The height was not that big of a difference, man. That the height wasn't the issue. The issue, you see, you see, you see, you see how the, you see how you see how women are wired different. The issue is not the height. The issue was not her size. The issue was her attitude. Queen, did you hear anything that I said about what that woman did and her demeanor? Did you hear anything? You understand, sis? The issue was her. Listen to what I said my boy did for her. And this is coming from a woman that said she'd never been out on a date in her life. We're talking about etiquette here. The bitch has no etiquette. The bitch is rude. And how do I know? She was rude to me. And here I am trying to give her game. I brought her a good black man. And what do I get? Why is your man immature? No, bitch. Why is your 14-year relationship that's failed immature? Why is your baby daddy immature? Why are you immature? Has anybody told her that? Because a man who's been in her life would tell her how to act. Hold on, y'all. I'm looking for a picture of my boy. I got him on my gram. All right, this one pic. Nah, I'm not letting, nah. Yeah, yeah, queen, she beyond hood. It's just ungrateful. On the far right, that's my guy. On the far right with the Wu-Tang. It's hot as hell that day. Um, I got another picture. Shorty, shorty just ungrateful. And, 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 and I want y'all to understand something. Her behavior, y'all would never know how typical this shit is. Some of y'all ladies are listening to this like, oh my God, I can't believe. No, believe it. This is what we deal with. We're not meeting. I haven't dealt with it. <laughs> and here's the funny shit. He don't have to deal with it. Yo, listen, man, the older you get, the less fucks you give. She wrong. She dead wrong. All right. Well, it don't matter. It don't matter. You need to understand something. I introduced her. Growth, what up? I introduced her to a good black man. Did I not? Did I not? Off the strength that I'm assuming, and this is what I'm saying, it, 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 Queen, there's, there's merit to what you're saying. I should have, you know, it, it investigated her a little bit, but you see, we was in mixed company, so I was assuming my homegirl's birthday, I was assuming that she surrounded herself with people like her. And when I told her, she said, ooh, ooh, ooh. Her face went just like that. Ooh, 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 ooh. I said, oh, man, it's too late. 
let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened. She said, yeah, Alfred, what's going on? So she got nachos. She got her cheeks clapped. And she got weed. Razor, what up? From a good black man. She also told him that she's used to dealing with young cats. Listen, no young cat is going to take a six foot two, 300 pound black chick that lives in the projects seriously. All they're going to do is bust those cheeks and keep it pushing. That's all they're going to do. She can't deal with dudes at her age and older. They're about something. My boy's about something. He's about to retire from one of his jobs. So come on, man. Here I am doing a good deed and then she's on the phone fussing, going back and forth with me. And of course, when she started talking about, oh, well, studies show and statistics show, I said, whoa, she brought it up. I said, wait a minute. Stop. Where are you getting this information from? And she, she just kept saying, well, statistics show that men do this and men. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you getting this from? Because I can tell you it's wrong. And y'all know how I do. I said, look, man. You got it backwards. Statistics show y'all black sisters are fucked off. I got numbers to support everything I can tell you on this phone right now. Where do you get it from? Blackdemographics.com. <laughs> Where do you get yours from? And after two minutes of that, then she said the CDC. I said, yeah, the CDC, it's like maybe a 2% two, two difference. It still tips in my favor what I'm telling you. Just remember, while you're laughing, I'm married. I'm in the kids' lives. I don't have those problems that you have. I'm not running around saying, well, I should have gotten an abortion. I'm not saying that. You said that. You came to me and asked if I had a friend like me. I do. The difference is he don't, he's not married with no kids. I handed you something and he didn't judge you. He didn't judge you because you were. There you go. This is National Geographic Facts. I'm not lying. I'm not making none of this up. The title of the show is How Does She Really Feel? The pampering lie versus the hard, honest truth. Here's the truth. She has an issue with men. She said her father sh should, should be having a seat in hell somewhere. She says something to that effect. She, she doesn't have a good relationship with her father. She doesn't have a good relationship with her baby's daddy. She doesn't have a good relationship with her 14-year relationship with a, with a man that never put a ring on it. She had all these problems with men, but she asked me to introduce her to a man. What? Can y'all make that make sense? Now watch this, y'all. Now watch this, y'all. A pampering lie. How many women that she works with or hang around that tell her, girl, you good just the way you are? So you told, she also told my boy, uh, yeah, men are intimidated by me. Listen, niggas ain't intimidated by you. You know what I mean? Dudes look at her and be like, yeah, you know what? I never been with a big bitch like that. I'm gonna try it tonight. And if they got a little weed, they party for the night. You know how many times she told my nigga, hey man, you know, you know, I got a smart mouth, yeah. And when you deal with a mature dude, either he's gonna deal with it or he's not. You know how many times my boy had to tell her to shut up? Yo, 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 calm, yo, shut that shit up. What are you talking about? You know how I know he's a first of all, he's not a liar. Second of all, I heard it over the phone. I'm like, yo, the only reason why I ain't tell her to shut up. What I did say is like, yo, how are you gonna learn when I'm trying to teach you something? You're not listening. You've had no 
male guidance in your life. And here I am, you came to me and I handed you something good and you're looking, you found something wrong with it. That's a character flaw. And then you 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 write to me in the fucking text. Oh, well, you hooked us up, so that's why I'm coming to you with it. Like I did something wrong. Did he give you an XTD? Would you burn it the next day? No. Did he knock you up? No. Too too early for that. Did he call you out your name? Did he keep making tall jokes? Did he call you fat? Did he get an extra plate of nachos? Hey, man, you know you want to eat these? Ha, 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 ha. No. So let me ask the women in, in the chat a question. What's the difference between how my boy handled this date and how Kevin Samuels treated these women that called him up with all this motherfucking attitude? The time for pampering is gone because I know whatever the fuck girls that women that she hang around with that edify how many of her girlfriends said girl you got to get in the gym and get that weight off at 40 years old 300 pounds at six foot two you got to get some of that weight off baby mm -hmm. the pampering lie you know what they're saying oh no get your hair there girl but where that weight girl they don't know what they're missing girl you're not fat, you got curves. By the way, she got high blood pressure. We got all this beef with the Manosphere though, right? She should be watching every Manosphere video. You know why? Because if you want to know what men want, you listen to the dudes. All you got to do is listen to what we talk about. Listen to how, what we complain about, what we see, what we, and say, okay, they don't like this, this, and that. So whatever they don't like, I'm not going to be that. She's not fit. She was not feminine. And if she feels offended, she's definitely not friendly. I was two seconds from telling her, shut the fuck up. But I said, you know, I'm not dealing with her. She was a, I have to, I have to catch myself. I'm like, yo, this is a lab rat right here. But this, that 40 year old woman, what I just told you about this woman, that's what's out here. Now watch this y'all. All you gotta do is remove the child from it. The 23 year old person. And what do you have? The other chick that I had on the show. Remember her? She ain't been back. She can't answer her phone now. I sent her to the link and I was super friendly to her. I sent her the link. I said, yeah, share this with your friends. Guess what? When I sent her the link, she said, oh, well, I need to see the show. I said, oh, yeah, I sent it to her. I DM'd it to her and I texted to her phone. I said, yo, come on back next week. Because what I was going to do, she sent me a detailed text talking about, I can't believe you didn't know what a, uh, what was it? Uh, one of those body types and I'm like I know what it is but that's irrelevant because that's not true she even said that on the show you remember that fellas ladies and gentlemen you remember that I said that's not true she says no I'm the opposite of that I said so you're that big because of birth control listen no fucking doctor would allow you she said she used to be a small so I know you're sexually active because you want birth control but no doctor if you was a small, no doctor would have let you, because that, that girl sitting there, if y'all remember, she had to been about almost 300 pounds herself, but she wasn't six feet tall. I don't think she was. No doctor would allow you to stay on birth control. Matter of fact, you shouldn't allow yourself to stay on birth control if it's letting you balloon up 200 pounds. No doctor in the world, but a doctor's going to have to be like, yo, is fucking that is that important to you because this thing made you gain 50 pounds in the last six months and i said this is all birth control then she said no so i said well you know what, what's been going on we're visual right so when you look at a person that's overweight more in those women are morbidly obese we're thinking that they're lazy you can blame medical shit all you want 
But when I asked her, what was your diet like? And she said, well, my dad used to buy us McDonald's. And I said, well, no, 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 no. Your dad ain't buying you McDonald's now. You're an adult. You're... And she was in her 40s. But your hair's done. Your nails are done. Don't tell me what your priorities are. Tell me where you spend your money and I'll tell you what your priorities are. But my boy didn't judge her, picked her up. And, and let me tell you something about my nigga. Let me tell you something. Chicks he date now, they got it good. Cause I'm telling you, this was like about maybe 15 years ago. And he saw that bitch come out the building, he done peeled off and called me like, yo, nigga, nah, you ain't telling me that bitch was that big. The fuck you doing? He was like that. He's a lot more calm. No judge zone, right? No judge zone, right? I sent her a proper black man. And he closed the deal. Christopher Columbus, I am not an expert on that. I got a vasectomy. I'm busting blanks. Every time I know this powdered milk coming out, I should be like, <laughs> right in the face. <laughs> Very friendly, took her out, fed her. Slept with her, took her home, took her to get her weed, made plans to, and that's another thing. She's like, no, I go by or, or for what I see. And she had an attitude over the phone. I said, what do you see? Well, what did you see? Oh, well, he hasn't spoken to me in a few days. It's been a fucking week. And now I go for what you see. I said, okay, well, I've seen him take you out on a fucking date, something that you've never been on in 40 years. So what you talking about? And then calling me with the bullshit. So I don't know who she's surrounded with. Telling her she's okay the way she is. Because she got a little too comfortable. And I got offended. I did. I'm like, the nerve of this bitch. Because on top of that, with all of that, all of that mouth she had, on top of that, you got the nerve to be. You got some nerve. And the man said what I bet no man ever said to you. He gave you exercising tips and said he'd help you work out. He said that, which means he's going to see her again. Right hand to God, when they first spoke, he called me and said, yo, she mad cool. Yo, she into Marvel and comics like us. I said, word, that's dope. He said, yo, she was playing Resident Evil and shit. I said, that's what's up. We never spoke on her looks. You see, now you can put things into perspective. How fucking dare you? How dare you? How dare you? See? She had entitlement. What he did to her, what not to her, what he did with her, she felt I deserve this. In reality, she did not. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. How I explain to you tonight, Wit, is 100% facts. Even if I got her on here and she told her side, Remember what I told you. She just be telling you how she felt. But talk about what happened. Talk about the date. Did he come get you? Yes. Did y'all laugh and joke? Yes. Did he feed you? Yes. Did you go back to his crib? Yes. Did y'all have consensual intercourse? Yes. Did he take you to buy your marijuana? Yes. Did he drive you home? Yes. You spent the night at his house? Yes. You had a good time? Yes. Why are you complaining? Because he ain't called me in five days. 
Did you text him? Yes. Did he text you back? Yes. Are y'all officially dating? Uh, well, no. Want to know why? Because in my last text that she sent me, it's like, oh, well, you know, I don't understand why men, men and women can't be friends. With I'm like, what is all this shit? Why are you typing me a book? What happened? Something happened? No. Y'all are friends. Y'all ain't fall out. Look, the man's busy. He got two fucking jobs. He's about to retire from one. It was Mother's Day. I, you know, not to put his business out there, but he had a situation a few years ago. He lost his mom. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, well, how about this? Instead of asking me why is he immature, ask me is he okay? Because you don't know what he's going through. He could be dead. You know, you're right. You're the third person to say that. Third? Over 40 years old, y'all. Y'all tell me, did she deserve that fucking date? After telling me that she has a baby daddy that ain't give a fuck about her and a 14 year relationship that led to no marriage and he never took her out. This was her first date and she, and, and this, 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 this is the fucking text I get, this is the conversation I get and she's on there fighting. Oh, Manosphere, what? Bitch, you need to listen to everybody in the Manosphere. Don't even listen to me. Listen to everybody else. And notice that all of these black men are saying the same shit about things we don't like. Don't worry about what I say. I'm off the market. But I'm still putting you up on game. I told her that over the phone. I said, here I am putting you up on game. And you're finding a way to fuck this up. I handed you a good man. Do y'all peep this? I handed her a good man and she's fucking it up. Oh, I'm saying she fucked it up. She fucked it up. And again, let me reiterate, she got the nerve to be. There's a lot more women in a one mile radius that are single, maybe childless, maybe younger, maybe a lot more fit, feminine and friendly that'll appreciate this man. Do y'all believe the, the statistics now? Because every, women like to say, oh, well, you know, well, I know men and this and that. No, no, Who you know is not even a fucking atom in the statistics surrounding the United States of America. Your block is not the whole fucking world. People telling me about what they know because of on their block. You ain't never been off your block. You leave your block, you see fucking palm trees. Like what? what? I didn't know this was over here. There's people in New York City right now that's never been out of, yo. I remember I was dealing with this girl. She never been out of Queens. I had to go get her on public transportation and come out here. She got off the train. She was looking around like, oh, I never been. I said, dude, we in the Bronx. I never been up here. You're like 21 years old. You never been out of Queens? Well, I have, but when I was a kid, but you know, what? Mind amount some Musa, my brother, in that super chat. Much love. He says, salute, big bro, and congratulations. Much respect. You doing your thing, and, and what you're doing is respected and appreciated. I've learned so much from you. Thank you, man. Thank you, good brother. Mind some Musa's a great brother, man. Had the pleasure of meeting him. He was in BK. You know what I mean? At the Wilder fight. You know what I'm saying? Man, look. Man, we, we, we're tightening it over here, man. For real, for real, man. For real, for real, man. Salute to you, good brother. Hey, and now you see why this exists. Now you see. Now y'all see. What I'm telling you with this woman, y'all might not believe. Listen, no, no. Y'all have to believe it. This is in abundance. This six foot two, 300 pound linebacker of a woman who my boy settled he settled because let me tell you something he has options you think he can't pull a fucking 18 year old you think he can't pull okay let's not a 25 year old out of college 
got a got a bachelor's or whatever but she's laser focused i want a husband though yeah i want a husband my boy made six figures last year he's 48 years old and don't look it i just showed you the picture got all his real teeth and everything Obviously, his penis works. So, you think a 25 year old won't look at that and say, you know what? Yeah. We still listen to rap music. Oh. But there are some young ladies that are like, ah, you know, I'm a little, you know, I do want to go to the Jag. I do want to go to the jazz club. Fuck. Hold on a second. Hold on, let me, Tay, Tay Jones text me. Oh, I know Philip D. There's people like that in every city. They ain't never been outside Chicago or Detroit. Like, you know what I'm saying? They. There's people in New York City that's never been to adjacent boroughs. I only been to Staten Island twice. No, no, no. I've been to Staten Island four times in my life. There ain't nothing to fuck over there. Nah, Queen, he's not. I'm saying this 25 years old, a mature 25 year old that's laser focused on, on a man. He's he's made six figures. You know what I'm saying? He can support himself and he can take care of a woman. She can slide in and take care of him and he can take care of her. Hell, she can get herself a, a, a job, but that's that's a team. That's a working, that's a working uh relationship right there. She'd appreciate it. If she's laser focused, yeah, so what? I know he's almost finished. So what? He ain't robbing the cradle. I just said she's a college grad. And she's laser focused on being a wife. She's respectful. She's fit. She's feminine. She's friendly. She's inspirational. She cooks. She cleans. And she gives head. It's always a plus. Salute, Sheila. Appreciate you. Quiet storm, salute. Much love and appreciation, man. I appreciate all of you. What I'm saying is, my point of bringing that up, I don't want to just get off into that scenario. My point is, the brother got options. And when he settled for the six foot two, 300 pound black woman, this was the fucking attitude he was met with. How do I know? Because it spilled over to me. And I'm on the phone just trying to, I, I thought something happened and she's just talking shit. And I'm like, I don't understand what you're complaining about. You got dinner, penis, and weed. And transportation to and from your crib. And we don't live in a shitty neighborhood. So I'm like, what, what are you, I said, what are you really complaining about? What is going on with you? Huh? And here's the thing. Y'all ready for the kicker? Y'all ready for the kicker? I said, yeah, I think you need to calm down though. Cause bottom line is, um, he didn't do shit wrong. Calm down, take a deep breath. And when y'all talk, y'all talk. I said, watch this. Last time you heard from him was the last time I heard from him. How about that? We got each other's numbers and he lived right over there. Right, right, literally up the block from me. 
I don't mean to say end of the world. She says, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, well, you know, I deleted his number. What? You know how I know she's lying? Because prior to that, when she said, yeah, you're the third person to tell me that, you know, I, I think I'll, um, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll hit him up. Then 20 minutes later, she said she deleted his fucking number. So which one is it? Maybe you can go in your contacts if you delete the number. Now it's the phone number in there with the name not attached. I don't know. But whatever. Village brother in that super chat. Much love and appreciation. He said, oh shit, we can super chat. The haters gonna be mad now. Oh yeah, brother, we working. We working hard over here. You know what my goal is? PJ's big dog salute. My goal is for everybody that does content, I, I wanna help all of y'all get monetized, man. That's the blessing. That's the blessing. Village brother, when you're ready to, um, when you're done doing what you're doing, you want to do that math channel, man. Me and you, we're going to talk. We're going to talk because that, sh that shit is dope. A math channel, please. One plus one is eight with me. I'm going to need help. <laughs> Salute to the village, brother. Yeah. Now, Queen, she was. And, and, and what pissed me off was the self entitlement that she had. And she's actually calling me up to my no 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 because he ain't calling me and you know i just go about what you what, what what you do forget about what you said i said yo didn't he say he's gonna help you work out he told me he told you that did he say that yeah he said that but that don't mean nothing i mean now what, what i go about what you do and what you i said well what he did do was come pick you up and take you to dinner and pay for everything and bring you back to his house and y'all had a wonderful night and you fell asleep and then you woke up and then he took you to, to, to go pick up your marijuana and then took you home. And I get this text. I didn't get the text. Yo, thank you. I had a good time with your boy. I don't know if you spoke to him, but good looking out. He's a good dude. I didn't get that text. I get the, a week later, why is your man immature? That's what I get. That is some ungrateful shit, is it not? Godfather. Yeah. This you can't make this shit up, people. You cannot make this shit up. She's too loose in the brain for me to even be an enemy to her. Because normally I say you don't want to make an enemy of me, but you know what? To be an enemy, that's a lot of energy. Enemy is energy. It's easier for me just not to deal with you. And again, she's just a lab rat. I was just looking like, mm, she's really ungrateful, isn't she? Okay. And what's sad is, and this is so, and this is so unfortunate. This is the state of a lot of these sisters out here. She's 40 plus years old. Why is she behaving like this? D-Man Jr. in that super chat, much love. My oh, brother, he said, congrats to my brother. Glad I can send you one of these for them haters to see. Man, salute, good brother, man. You know what's dope? Less and less, I forget about the haters. When you don't understand the social media, you get triggered by everything. And then it, it, it dawns on you. These niggas don't know me. Even when they do a little Google search and they find out some shit about you. There's nothing for me to find out. But the fact that motherfuckers, you, 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 people lose that much sleep over you. That's actually a badge of honor. It's like, wow, I really got you triggered like that? God damn. Let me get this straight. I just get up in the morning and I talk boxing and now I come on night at night I'm gonna I'm have to escalate this show too I'm gonna be doing a lot more work on this channel too so I got two channels and working on a third Bear Cave Entertainment go subscribe and um 
Y'all in y'all feelings. Why? Because you know what? When you're working on your craft, and I sent 78 a super chat this morning. When you're working on your craft, and you, you, listen, when you're a content creator, you get excited when you're working. You're like, oh shit, I could do this. Oh shit, I could do that. Oh man, I'm gonna do this. And then when you learn editing, you're like, oh my God, I could do this. Yo, man, I'm an artist. I draw. I could start out just trying to draw something. And then I'm like, oh man, I can add this. I can add that. And then da, 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 da. And next, you know, I have a page full of shit. And then you start to ink it. It's like, oh man. That's what being a content creator is. You get excited because it's your work. And when a hater comments on your video saying, oh, this shit sucks. Oh my God. And you just ignore it or block them. Then they popping up with troll accounts and then they, oh, your real name is this, this, and that. And you worked over here and you used to do this and it irrelevant. Because while you're hating on me, I'm working. And people don't give a fuck about what you're doing. Like, trust, and respect. I get more subs in a month than my haters get on their whole channel. And that's that's a true story. Quiet Storm in a super chat. Much love and appreciation. Salute. I, I appreciate you, Melanin. I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you. You want to learn how to box? Look at me. You want to learn how to box? I'm not the. I'm not a, a coach. You know what? If you want to get pointed, Stormy B man. That's the guy. That's the guy. You know. It, you know how they say you need to learn when you know how to drive. You need to learn how to drive from an actual instructor. You don't want to learn to drive from people that's been driving for 50 years. You know why? They learned the basics, but they've developed all these bad habits over the years. It's just that we've been getting away with it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but you know, Stormy or or Tay Jones, because he's actually ranked. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, Queen. Guess what? Those figurines, they're from my boy. They're from my boy's crib. He got them in his crib. The figurines come from Terrence Bailey. Salute. The figurines come from his uh, crib. He got a bunch of them. I'm telling you, man, we nerds, man. This is the link for Bear Cave. That's my third channel. I'm going to start doing more content on that channel too. Um, let me do this. The figurines, if y'all don't know that she's talking about, let me pull this up. And this is just a sidebar because, um, excuse me, I need a break from talking about this chick for a second. Because um wait, no, stop sharing. Let me show y'all what she what, what uh Queen is talking about. This is Bear Cave. This is my third channel. Um my shorts are right here. Um these are some of the figures that he have. It's my little editing that I do. These are the figurines he has. These statues, the cheapest one that I've seen he had was maybe about $500. The rest of these are uh, a grand and up. All of them are about maybe eight to 12 inches tall. This is Falcon and Winter Soldier. Salute Eric Jordan, new sub, Bear Cave. See, this is editing that I do. I have fun doing this. Come on now. I'm a nerd. This is a uh, moon night right here. This one's about maybe 13 inches tall. 
but it's standing on that bus right there. Um, it's it's probably taller than that. Very expensive. I put the music in there and everything. See, when I have fun doing this, when I'm working, I take the video on my own and I, I'm working. I don't have time to be worried about somebody not liking me because of my big forehead. I don't, what the fuck? I got a wife who got a fat ass and I'm good. Tell these hating ass niggas, I sleep with pussy every night. Go get some. Yup. This is the last, no, I don't think this was the, this is the last one I did, Beta Ray Bill. This is all my editing. And these 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 are the these are the figures that my boy got in his crib. So I'm telling you, see, when you're when you're when you're old enough, but you're young enough, you retired, you can enjoy your life, you can do shit like this. And the last thing you need to be dealing with is a fucking ungrateful fucking linebacker bitch calling you immature. What you mean? This is living right here. You understand what I'm talking about? When people try to disturb you happy, that's when that's when you get annoyed. People trying to disturb your happy place, man. He was just flat out nice to her. And this is the thanks he getting. And this is the thanks I get. I did her, I delivered her a man. Now let me let me let me ask y'all a question. Let me ask y'all a question. Could he not have shown her something? Could she not have learned something from him? I was trying to educate her about something over the phone. I was being very patient with her. I'm like, yo, look, wait a minute. That's why I asked her, what's your relationship with your father? What's your relationship with, uh, uh, you have any older uncles or brothers or whatever? But no, you telling my boy, you wish your son wasn't born. And quiet as it's kept, but not so quiet. Not so quiet. I told you we all got co-workers that know each other right someone told me she said yeah her son she always complained about him he ain't worth shit i said yo who's your son's mentorship who does he look to other than you who didn't want him in the first place i ain't say that shit out loud all she could tell me is that he's 23 years old and he's a virgin i i i didn't ask wow you know what queen he has a storm I'm gonna do, I think he has a storm. Main bike is salute. It's all good. I think he has a storm. I think he has one. He got, he, oh man, he got like, he got over, shit. How many, how many, actually, how many, how many figures he got? He got a bunch. Those are busts made by um Randy Bowen. He don't mass produce them anymore. So those those he has are like one of a kind. Well, not that many people have them. He he ordered them up. I'm telling you, wait till you see the Thanos I got. I'm about to do a video for Ultron. I got the Ultron. I got a Doctor Strange. The Magneto was crazy. He, the Ice Man is ridiculous. I'm telling you, man. Oh, you Miss Storm? Damn. Damn. Yo, the Hercules, the Abomination, Hulk, Deadpool. He got a Ghost Rider. He got a Wolverine. You, you'll, you'll see it because I'm getting them all. I'm getting them all. I'm all putting them up there. What else I got over here? Oh, the la the latest one I did was a uh, uh, War Machine. Here we go. I have fun doing this, man. Man, I have fun doing this. 
This is what life is about right here. Not some ungrateful linebacker, bitch. The nerve, the absolute nerve, man. The nerve. Oh, Melanin, yeah, I'm a... <laughs> I actually did a call to <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture of it and I'm gonna show y'all. Um I actually did a cartoon to me. It was like at a boring part of my life. And it's just me sitting on a fucking futon. <laughs> like this. Shit is stupid. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, spawn. I don't think he has a spawn. Yo, my my boy Sean got a spawn though. He got some hot shit though. Yeah, man. You know, on that other channel. Um, I'm gonna post a lot of my artwork. Wait, hold on. You know what? I might have something to show y'all right now. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I might I might have something to show y'all right now. Let me see something. Come on now. Okay. Hold on. Let me see. I might have something to show y'all right now. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um Let me see if I can find something for y'all. I got my own universe. Um, no. It's not in here. Wait a minute. Wait, it might be in luck. Damn it. No, no. Wait, 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 y'all. Ah, okay. All right, y'all in luck. Y'all in luck. Y'all in luck. Okay. All right, this was. This is something I did years ago, color pencils. Damn, I did this in 96. That's just a character I drew. Uh, let me see. I'll show y'all one more, because this is this is for Bear Cave. This is for Bear Cave, y'all. Um, wait. Let me go back. Damn, let me go back. Okay. Um. Oh, here we go. Y'all like wrestling? Check this out. I was at work when I did this one day. <laughs> yeah, Melanin, do it. I was just drawing. I said, I didn't look like Mick Foley. So I just kept doing it. And then there was a met there was a wrestling magazine in the office. I had a little security gig at that time. And I looked, I said, eh, and I did it. I did the one on the right first. And then I did Dude Love in the middle and on the, the bottom, Mankind, that came off the dome. I just did it. 
Yeah. Yeah, man. But my own little universe, you know what I mean? I'll save that for Bear Cave. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know, um, listen. We have fun over here. We have fun over here, but listen, man. It's pretty it's pretty clear. I mean, Biker said draw Mr. Saga. <laughs> it's pretty clear. Yeah, exactly, Philip D. Some of my best work came from working. I had the security gig. I I was in college and I was doing that on the on the side to pay for my books. And I just be in there. If I wasn't sleeping, I was drawing or studying. Um Oh yeah, DP. I'm gonna get one on. I'm gonna get a wrestling panel on. Definitely. I talked to Paul Onder of Sun on Instagram. He has a YouTube channel. I want to try and get him on Bear Cave. Talk about his dad. He got mad stories. Um, SD Jones used to live right here in Mount Vernon. I used to work out with him at um one of the gyms over there. I was sad when he died. I was like, yo, I just saw him like a month ago. SD was like 6'5". He was a lot bigger in person, man. SD Jones was like 6'5". I was like, shit, he's big. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be, I'll be on in the morning. I'll be on in the morning, Melinda. I'll be on. Yeah, man. Um, Look, you see what I just showed y'all? You know the 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 the, uh, uh, the figurines that my boy collects. We had a place in life where, whether you're married or you're not, you, you should be in the home stretching and just relaxing. You shouldn't be dealing with chaos. This woman is very chaotic, and she's very immature. And whoever's in her ear, her girlfriends, if they're not checking her, like yo, look, you need to calm down. You see, you know what you gotta ask a woman like that? What do you want? She could not say, oh, I want. I want, yeah, Philip D. S.D. Jones, his son went to high school with my brother and my boy's brother. They were on the high, we got older brothers that went to school together. It's funny. And S.D. Jones' son used to go to school with them. And I ended up meeting S.D. like, like in the gym. I said, look, I said, that's not like S.D. Jones. And I said, excuse me. Yeah, he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you I didn't know he's from the islands. He was from the islands. He was a good, he was a good guy, man. Real good guy. He was big as hell, too. I said, damn, he, he looked smaller on TV. <laughs> he was big as hell. He was big. He was like 6'5. He was big. I was like, damn. But yeah, man. Um, we want peace. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about Steve Cunningham's comics. He's nice. We want peace. You want sex sandwich and silence. You know what I'm saying? This chick is not peaceful. And if, if you don't give her 100% of, if you don't give her attention when she wants it, she's texting you all kinds of rude shit. She's a straight dog. Ain't a straight dog different from a house dog? Straight dogs run up and down the street and they're sniffing and pissing on everything and they going in garbage cans. And when they feel like wilding out, they chasing people up the block until what? You shoot them up, beating them, beating them up or whatever. Oh, no doubt, Melanin. No doubt. Oh, wait, there's one more I want to show you. There's one more I want to show you. Where's that? Oh, this one I have fun. Oh, wait, hold on. This was the first one I did. Y'all know I had to do this. Wakanda forever, baby. Come on now, my editing skills is crazy. Nineteen sixty six. And 
And uh, this is my second one. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to Bed Cave Entertainment. I'm be doing the Marvel movie reviews over there. I'm gonna do a lot of movie reviews over there. I just gotta find time to get over there and do some work. Modoc. Yeah, man, I have fun, man. I have fun. Thank you, Melanin. I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you, man. <laughs> yes. Oh, Melanin, are you... Um, Let me see something. Because... The boxing channel, I make people wait six weeks to get in, but I have a way of um, letting them get, I, I, I could let y'all in, but I got to go through, um, let me go to your channel and, uh, okay, what I can do is I'm going to the channel right now, right? And I'm going to go to my studio and I can make you a mod. So you ain't got big Texas, what up? And I can make you a mod. And uh, so you ain't got to wait six weeks. Let me see. Yeah, I know you could do that, right? You ain't know that, right? <laughs> Wait a minute. Approve users. Paste. Uh, save. Okay. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Okay, let's try this. Where the fuck is uh oh I even okay I even post what, what I'm talking about tomorrow that's what it was okay but I made you a mod I made you a mod Melanie I made you a mod so let me know let me put my uh link to my channel there you go That's uh that's um the link. You should be a mod over there now. So you ain't gotta wait the six weeks. Should be. No doubt. So yeah, man. Um listen. Whoever's pampering this young lady um that we were talking about, um they're giving her a, a, a whole lot of lies. They need to tell her the truth. And this is why they hated Kevin Samuels. Because he wasn't just getting on here cursing women out or nothing like that. You know? And they would rate themselves. And we would say, well, listen, how do you look? And they would explain how they look. And they say, look, well, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. The men that you're looking for won't be into you and then you have to get deal with the oh well i'm curvy i'm 201 pounds but i'm curvy look look they might sleep with you there's a lot of women on instagram that are curvy they got their waist snatched and they got big old asses with thighs or whatever look they'll sleep with you but they're not you're not gonna you're not gonna uh uh, uh get a husband like that because these women say that they want husbands and they think because they got a degree 
and a fat old ass that the men are supposed to come to you. It don't go like that. It don't go like that. It really don't. The order is all fucked up. What you have is supposed to add to what the man has. And here's what I'm talking about. I just told you my boy's credentials. I'm not lying. He was just in the chat. He's not lying. What the fuck is this bitch that I just explained to you? What is she bringing to the table for him? At 6'2", 300 plus pounds. And he offered to help her on a weight loss journey, which means he was definitely going to see her again. So he came in being a gentleman and offering help. And what did what, what did he get in return? Being rude. And then I get a rude text about him. Who's wrong here? You're looking at a black woman that found a way to fuck something up. How I'm telling you is exactly what happened. Come on, man. So the hard, honest truth is that some motherfuckers don't know a good thing when it's right there in their goddamn face. You see? And this bitch, when he, when he gives her a call, and if he decides, because they haven't spoken yet, if he decides to say, hey, this ain't gonna work, she'll turn right around and tell 30 different bitches niggas ain't shit. Oh, well, after he got some pussy, he ain't call me no more. That's not true. You're leaving everything out. He did more for you in one night than you claimed your baby daddy did. Oh, I'm sorry, your baby daddy gave you a fucking child that you said you ain't want. 23 years later. All right? And, you, and more than what a man you got into a 14-year relationship with ever did for you in one fucking night. Exactly, Anthony. Dance on Kevin Samuels' grave, but Jerry Springer, who, looking back, he promoted a lot of dysfunction, American dysfunction. And I saw a lot of niggas bouncing around on that stage with wigs, fat gay dudes with, t with titties flapping around. It was crazy. Oh, yeah, Queen, he's not stupid. And there's no need to go, you know what I'm saying? There's no need for him to go back and forth, you know? But I already know what's going to happen. Because this chick cannot control her mouth. What is one of the things that everybody in the manosphere always says? And I don't claim to be a part of the manosphere. It's just that I identify with what the lot of brothers say. Because you know what? I've been saying it all my life. I'm lucky. I'm married. I got lucky. But a lot of brothers are not as fortunate. Exactly, Joseph. Then there's that. But this chick knows that she, you know, has an issue with weight. And he didn't clown her. He says, yo, you know, we're going to do this. We can do that. Da, 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 da. He was being proactive because she was putting it out that she wanted to be proactive. So he was helping her. And he offered to help her. And I'm getting a text about why is he immature? Why are you jump? I said, do you normally jump the gun like this? And then she tried to stand on her square. I said, you, 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 I look at what you do. I look at what you do. I said, well, let's talk about what he did. I said, did he come get you? Yes. In his car? Yes. Took out to eat? Yes. Y'all had a good time? Yes. Went back to his place? Yes. You had a good time? Yes. He took you to get your marijuana. Oh, he told you that? Why not? We're grown. But yes. Then he drove you home? Yes. He have to help you work out. Yes. So I'm not understanding. What? What did he not do? He didn't call you in a few days? Okay. Maybe there's something wrong. Well, let me tell you what it is. Let me tell you what some of it is. And then I told him. But later on in the conversation, I found out that in one night he did more than what a 14-year relationship and a baby daddy has ever done. So what the what, what kind of what kind of text was this? Man. Man, listen. It's 
This woman's good and grown with a 23-year-old son that she didn't want. According to her, she said that. She said that. We ain't making that up. She said that. She told him that over dinner. But what she said to me over the phone was, oh, had I believed in abortion back then, it'd be different. I said, huh? Okay. I didn't, I, I didn't, I, I almost said, what did you say? Are you serious? I, but I didn't, I just let her talk. Y'all know how I do. I sugar healed her. I told y'all I know what I'm doing. I just said, oh, I said, she don't, she don't know she just said that shit. She, wow. Wow. Hmm. If y'all friends, then y'all talk when y'all talk. It shouldn't matter. I mean, look, bro. I feel sorry for the brothers that are single that are looking for uh, a significant other. And I feel bad that some of you feel that y'all have to go to other countries, feel that you have to go. But you know what? You're a free man. You can explore your options. You may find love over there. You may not find love over there. But I'm going to do a show about um, game is game. There's hoes here. There's hoes across overseas. Don't get it fucked up. If you ain't got no game here, don't think you're going to go over there with no game because you'll get used over there just like you'll get used over here. Don't get it fucked up. Don't get it fucked up. Game is game. You don't think there's chicks over there tricking in Thailand and the Philippines and China and wherever you want to go? Game is game. So you ain't got no fucking game here. Don't think you ain't going to need game over there. You might be doing a little better over there because no one knows you over there. It's like over here in college. There was some cornballs over here. But then you go to college, you end up over there on a college campus and you say, oh, that's so-and-so. But he's a different person in college because he done went down there and lied about what part of the Bronx he's from and he's supposed to be this other, he done made up a character and he's living the character. But we know him as a different person over here. It's like, oh, this is a bitch ass nigga over here. He can slap him up and kick him down a flight of stairs. He wouldn't do shit. But he a rock star over here? Jesus Christ. And he give you that look, please don't fuck this up for me. No, 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 it's all right. Live your life, man. We ain't trying to step on you. We doing something else. <laughs> yeah, Joseph, you right, man. Yeah, Philip D, I agree, man. Chivalry is dead, man. It's over with. It's over with, man. This brother really did a good thing to a six foot two, 300 pound woman. And, and she still had no fucking humility about her. And I'm not saying she need to be, listen, you need to be humble as a person regardless. But to have this attitude, and then turn around in this buzzwords when you when you hear a woman say oh men can't handle me why is they oh because i'm tall no listen you're not the tallest chick in the world i know a chick that's six four but she ain't 300 pounds though this is not your height the height can be a problem to some men but no it's not that i heard the attitude i said man this chick is oof. chick is something else it's her mouth you ever been around somebody that says rude shit but it's a part of their basic conversation it's like ugh. sort of like a child like a child an innocent a five-year-old child will walk up to somebody that's overweight oh wow you're fat just uh, it, just not they don't know what rude is they just they just say it they see something they learned the word. Oh, fat. Say, like, ooh. When you're an adult doing that, you'll watch your fucking mouth. But that's the kind of person she is. It's disgusting, y'all. And when I let it marinate, and I say, yo, I'm quite offended that I got that phone call, man. And then argued me down. That's when she became a lab rat because I started saying shit to see um, and she admitted that she was triggered over the fucking phone. But I'm, the things that I was saying, I'm like, why are you triggered over that? I just asked you about your father. 
That shouldn't be something triggering. If I'm asking you what's your relationship with your father, why is that triggering? And then for you to say that he's probably sitting down in hell somewhere, oh man, I don't even want to know about it. Stop. I said, stop, 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 stop. Okay, no, don't go any further. <sighs> Yeah, listen. Ain't nobody perfect out here. I'm not perfect. I'm not the best looking man in the world, but I hold my own. Yeah, no doubt, Joseph. For real. For real. And, you know, listen. For her, when she went off, and when I mentioned statistics, she did a sarcastic laugh for three straight minutes over the phone. And I was just listening like, you all right? No, wait, hold on. Ha, 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 ha. I was like, okay, hello. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, my God. Ha, ha. It was like mad sarcastic. I'm like, wow. This bitch really do be on YouTube right now. Well, she'll find this live eventually. He told her I have a podcast. She can watch this all she wants. Out of Young, salute. And if she called me up, beefy, I'm gonna hang up on her. If she texts me, I will respond. You wanna set it straight? I will send you a link and you can get famous. You can get YouTube famous. And I will help you start a YouTube channel so you can get some money so you can move about the fucking projects because I want what's best for her. Does it sound like I do for real? Actually, I do. I'm just talking about how fucked up she is as a person, how she needs therapy. Walking around in life, you ask me to do something for you. I do something in good faith. And, and what do I get? Why is your man immature? Why can't men and women be friends? I don't know. Why can't we be friends? Is this what the fuck you say to me? Is this what you do? Are you serious? I did something. A black man did something good for you. But you saying that the problem is black men? A black man did something good for you, black woman. All six foot two, 300 pounds of you. And I'm pointing that out for a reason. Because nobody clowns you. Nobody made fun of you. My boy went out on a date with you and then, then you said that, that you said it was an issue and he offered to help you. And this is the fucking text I get. I introduce you to a black man that has no issues. And this is the attitude you take. Are you serious? Wow. Point proven again. And if my boy decides, because he has a passport, if he decides, yo, look, I'm going to go back down to Barbados and see, you know, check that island, see if there's a... Let me tell you something. There's a lot of Rihanna's running around in Barbados. Y'all know she's Bayesian, right? There's a lot of that on Barbados. Y'all know that, right? What if he decides, I'm going to go to Africa, go over there, see what's going on? What if he decides, I'm going to go to the Philippines? I'm going to call up No Need to and Rachel. Like, yo, look, man, we're going to come down. You know, we got to get my man a wife. And we're going to hang in the Philippines for two weeks. With Rachel and No Need to. Go to Thailand and shit. Then those same women, like this chick I'm talking about, will get mad at him. And it's like, wait a minute. You got nachos, weed, and dick, and you still had a problem? What is going on with you? She mentioned her weight, not him. She did. He said, oh, you need help with that? I help with that. No, 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 queen, no queen. You can meet someone in two weeks, exchange information, come back home and hit them on a WhatsApp. And, and guess what? 
that term getting flown out that's really happening yeah come come spend two weeks in america hang out with me for two weeks i'm gonna come back to the philippines for two weeks that's how people do it if you're digging somebody you ain't gonna take that long to know when you're gonna marry them or not you know what i'm saying but that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother show motherfuckers be having like eight year engagements and shit man this chick was in a relationship for 14 years and he never put a ring on it this chick spit out a kid with a baby daddy and i don't know what that relationship is i know it's non-existent but here's the shit kicker you ready for this as she's talking her shit over the phone and laughing about facts data and statistics I hear saying, okay, we're going outside. We're going outside. I said, oh shit, you had company in your house the whole time you're talking on you screaming on the phone. Now I'm about to go walk my dog. Oh, what the doodle 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 What did the Godfather say? Get a dog and die alone. She got a dog and a cat. Okay? All right? You see? So she's already halfway there. Thank you, Quiet Storm. Godfather. Yeah. This You can't make this shit up, people. You cannot make this shit up. Swear to God. Swear to God. She got a, a, a mix. It's a pit bull mix with something else. Bullshit. Salute to everybody in the Venmo set, the Cash App, the Super Chat, man. Much love and appreciation to every last one of you, man. We'll be back here Friday. You know what I mean? But I'm going to be putting in a lot more work on this channel and on Bear Cave, man. I really appreciate, man, you guys, man. I'm going to be back talking some boxing. It's fight week. Let's go, Devin Haney. You're under dig. Um, much love, y'all. And uh, this is sort of like a venting post, but, you know, ladies, don't pamper the lie for your girlfriends. You're doing them a disservice. All right. Um, give them the hard, honest truth. Okay, it's not what you say. It's how you say it. But you see it don't matter. Cause nobody screamed at her nobody cursed at her i wish i could have heard our conversation because the demeanor she took with me she took with him a couple of times during the night he had to tell her to calm down but she still had a good time with me i was like yo see she was getting triggered how my demeanor is with you was how is it was with her But Kevin Samuels was the bad guy. This is what's roaming around these streets. 40 year old woman, y'all, over 40 years old. So the, those are the type of women that these young ladies are looking up to. Man, fuck Gen Z. It's over with. I'll catch y'all on the rebound. Much love, y'all.